What's up guys, it's me Caitlin from CCO Tech and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some keyboard shortcuts on Mac that I have found to be most useful whenever I'm doing work online and just trying to write an essay or do something for my school. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get on with the shortcuts. So of course, we gotta start off with the basics, but I think the most important shortcut to use no matter what age you're at if you use your computer to do work and write papers and write and use documents, you have to know the shortcuts to copy, paste, and cut. In order to copy something on a document on Mac, you use Command C. Once you have that content copied, you can paste that content using Command V. And let's say instead of just copying the content, you wanted to copy and delete it at the same time, you can use that by using the cut shortcut, which is Command X. The way I like to remember the cut one is just Command X, think of the X as like scissors in a way, so you know that you're not only copying but you're also deleting that content. The next shortcut we have is undo. Because we all have those times where we type something, we make a mistake, and of course most web browsers and a lot of applications such as Google Docs, Microsoft Word, and those types of applications, they have their own undo button on it. But just in case you're on a website that doesn't have an undo option, you can always use Command Z to undo what you typed. So instead of having to worry about, oh my gosh, I just deleted something, if you press Command Z, it'll go back to what you had previously and you can keep pressing Command Z until you get your paper or your document to whatever state you wanted it to get back to. Another thing that's super easy and super helpful is the select all shortcut. You can use this by doing Command A, and this allows you to just select all the contents on a page, which can be super easy and super helpful if you're wanting to copy something over to a whole nother document. Because once you press Command A, you're selecting everything, everything will be highlighted blue, and then using the skills we talked about earlier, you can press Command C or Command X to cut or copy that contents and then possibly paste it to another document. So all these things work hand in hand, especially when you work in documents. Another shortcut that I have found super helpful is Word Finder. Let's say you're on a PDF and there's thousands of pages. All you have to do is press Command F and let's say you're looking for a specific keyword. After you press Command F, a little drop down search bar will pop up and you can type in the specific word that you're looking for and it'll show you every single instance that word is used in the document and it'll give you the option to kind of press these up and down arrows so you can go down the document and find the word or go up the document and find the word. And I think it's just super helpful, especially when I'm in school and I'm looking for through a document to find definitions for words. Going more into the window shortcuts, let's say your page is going a little janky, things aren't working right. Instead of hitting that reload button with your mouse, you can simply just press Command R and your page will reload. Additionally, on Google Chrome, sometimes I have a lot of tabs open and I'm scrolling through and I accidentally close one out that I didn't want to close out. It creates a lot of panic, but don't worry. All you have to do is press Command, Shift, and T at the same time and you can undo closing a tab. And that tab that was deleted, you can restore. And not only can you restore one tab that you got rid of, but you can also restore multiple. So let's say you close two tabs out that you want to reopen. Instead of having to search that website up again, you can just press Command, Shift, and T however many times to restore all the tabs that you closed. And then to close that out, if there is a tab that you did want to close, all you have to do is press Command W and you can close the tab that you're on. And then going back to document-based shortcuts, Let's say you're typing a paper and you want to add some emphasis. You want to add some underlines, some bold, some italics. These are super easy to remember because all you have to do is select that piece of text. If you want to underline that, you press Command U. If you want to bold the text, you can press Command B. If you want to italicize the text, you can press Command I. I think something that's super important on Mac is screenshots. The easiest thing to remember for a screenshot, you press Command, Shift, and 3. And then in the bottom right corner, you'll see the preview of the screenshot. You can click on it, edit your screenshot. But that's just a quick and easy way to do it so you don't have to open up the QuickTime player and do it that way. 
unless you really want to. And then lastly, going back to typing, let's say we're on a document and we wanna add emojis. Let's say I'm editing my YouTube description on my Mac and I wanna use emojis. All I have to do is press Command, Control, and Space and all the emojis will pop up and I can just click whichever one I want. Very great thing with Apple, I love that you can use emojis no matter what device you're on. I do hope this video was very useful to a lot of people, not only just students, but also people who use documents and, and online databases on a day-to-day -day basis. Because honestly, I think there's some purpose and some usefulness in any of the shortcuts that I showed. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.